Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and I run on WordPress. Several of y'all have asked me exactly what's on my website or maybe what plugins I run, what theme am I running. So I thought I'd give y'all a quick glimpse under the hood of my WordPress website, askcorey.com. You can go over there and check it out. Uh, but let's look inside, let's go into the dashboard and I'm gonna show you what I'm running. All right, obviously I'm on WordPress, I'm on the self-hosted version and I host with WP Engine. I've been over there for years, absolutely love all of their incredible support that they give me and the security that they give me and the backups and the access to all of it. It's just incredible. So that's one of the first things you see up here in the top left-hand corner. And kind of just going under the hood, let's go into appearance first and we're gonna go check out what theme I'm running. Yeah, of course, if you follow my channel, you know I'm running the Divi theme. I absolutely love this theme. It is a pro theme, so you're gonna pay for this. Uh, but my goodness, what you get under the hood is just life changing. So be sure to check that theme out. I'll put a link to it in the uh, thread below. Also, I always have a backup theme living here and no more than one additional theme living here on my server. I leave a backup theme sitting here and typically it's one of the core backup themes from WordPress. Um, I leave it there so that in case anything were to happen, I can access this website still through FTP. If anything by chance were to break with my core theme, I can jump in there and access it through and activate a different theme inside of FTP. So just a little safety net. I've been at this for uh, quite a few years now, over a decade, 15, 16 years now, been at this. So this is kind of just one of those best practices. Let me show you what's under the hood for plugins. Those of y'all that follow my channel know that I really prefer to keep a website running with fewer than six plugins, definitely no more than 12, but I guess I don't practice what I preach. I have 17 active plugins happening on this website. I don't really think I need all of them. Some of them are little add-ons. I could probably go ahead and deactivate the raffle press because I haven't been using it for a while, even though I run those every once in a while and I can leave it here under the hood. But um, let me show you what else I've got going on. I've got the 10 web booster happening and that's that accelerator to make my website fast. I'm trying to hit that 90 plus page speed over on uh, Google speed. So I'm running blank slate and really I can get that feature inside of Divi, but I think I was having a tutorial on this one. So blank slate is living there. Cool timeline pro. Okay. Let me show you what this looks like on the front side. Cause this is a very fun plugin. Hidden as kind of an Easter egg on my website, I have a timeline of my life, kind of what I've done with my uh, childhood, growing up, my experiences, everything that I've kind of gone through with my careers. The story lives here and it's just this really cool little timeline. You can see on this um, right side over here, uh, the years as they kind of go by. I need to update this, last one was pre-COVID. So yeah, just really a, a fun little widget that you can throw on your website. And if you have a client who's interested in having a very cool timeline, I would highly recommend checking out Cool Timeline Pro. The Divi Gallery Extended Plugin allows you to have some really cool masonry images on your website. If you're interested in that, be sure to look that up and I'll put the link in the description box below as well. It allows photos to just live really nicely nested down your page. Divi Overlays is not active right now, but it is a really great plugin that I enjoy using every once in a while to create some cool pop-ups, but I have been using a different one. I'll show you here in a second. Flow Flow Light, y'all, I've done a video on this one before. This is one of my favorite social media streams plugin, so check it out. I'll show you on the front side. When you visit the front side of my website and you go to About page, scroll down, you are going to find my social media feeds here. And I've got uh, Facebook and Twitter filtering in here. And it's just fun. You can filter in multiple different streams from different uh, social media accounts if you want to and have them all live here uh, in real time, y'all, in real time. So that plugin is Flowflow Lite. And of course they have uh, a pro version as well. Font Awesome, for those of you who need to get those extra icons or anything extra there, Font Awesome is a really cool plugin that you can add into your WordPress website with ease and access a ton of other icons. 
Get Side Control is a plugin that I activated in here to test some pop-ups so that I could collect some email addresses. That's a pretty interesting plugin uh, that I would say check that out if you're interested in trying to wrangle in some leads from your traffic, especially in a blog area. Gravity Forms is gonna be the next few you're gonna see here. They're kind of this form builder that I've left in here over the years. I've actually moved now toward WS Forms. That's been the form builder that I put in on my client sites, but Gravity Forms, I probably have 30 or 40 forms in here that I just haven't rebuilt yet. But I tell you what, WS Forms has an add-on to their plugin that lets you import Gravity Forms here it will import and, and build the exact same form in their plugin. It's brilliant. So I could migrate if I want to. Maybe I'll do a video on that one coming up. MailMunch is actually how I wrangle my email leads. So anybody, anytime you come to my website and you go to leave, it's gonna pop up and ask you to join my email list. Pop-ups for Divi, that is the pop-up builder that I use to create any little extra pop-ups to talk about an offer that I might have. Super simple to do. Raffle Press Pro, if y'all were watching my channel a few months ago, I ran a raffle to give away some cool stuff. So I have that activated on here. It's a great plugin if you're looking to run a raffle. Search Meter is something that I've had a couple of people come in and ask me, hey, how can I do a search across your whole site? And I got to thinking, well, if people are doing that search, I wanna collect what search terms they're looking for. And this plugin allows me to do that. I get to see that. I'll show you really quickly inside my dashboard here when I go to my home, I can see in the last seven days that you've got a couple of search queries coming in here as people are doing a few things. They're looking for a scope of work, they're looking for a category page, they're looking for contract examples, different things that I've uh, shared on my YouTube channel and they're coming in here and looking for those resources. Of course, Yoast is running on my WordPress website. That is not the ultimate fix to your search engine optimization, but it is a really cool tool to hold you accountable to trying to implement best practices for your content. And for those of you that, again, watch my channel consistently, I was just bragging on this YouTube Importer Pro plugin. They do have a light or free version, but the Pro absolutely meets my needs and I love it. You can see right here, it's got an automatic update scheduled happening. Uh, it just automatically grabs from my YouTube channel and drops it right into my WordPress site, creates a post for me and then it displays it wherever I told it to display it, on my home page, in my blog. It's just a really phenomenal plugin, and obviously I need to go update it. Speaking of updates, you always wanna be sure that you're running the latest core WordPress, and you can see right below me down here, I am running 6.1.1. Please be sure to check your site and be certain that you are up to date as well, at least this number, if not a newer version. And of course, on the front side of my website, I am running just a out of the box, Divi layout that you get. That's really what this is. There's nothing super fancy happening on my site here. I might have done a little bit of extra customization just to get a little bit of a different spin, but really this is a plug and play solution out of the Divi theme. And another favorite area on my website is my toolbox. You can find that at the top of my navigation and check out all these other tools that I really enjoy. You can uh, see some other themes that I recommend and some really great books as well that I highly recommend, some other blogs uh, that I recommend and I follow. So please be sure to check that out. I hope you all have enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing it with you. And if you like content like this, please let me know. I can always go show you another project that I've built out, show you what's under the hood, maybe of an e-commerce site or how I've built something else. All right, y'all, I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.